Panthers come in at three and two. And there you see, yeah, Kawhi Leonard back in the lineup low to this young season. Doc Rivers does not seem concerned, says they're about where they should be. As the Raise his hand up. Like, let the official make the call. Kawhi isos on DeRozan oh. to All-Stars crossing blade. Mars vision on their last mid-range jump shot. Kawhi wants the ball this time against Forbes. Same oh. spot, same result. Picked up by Zubats, who gives back to Murray. Flips up the mid-range shot and knocks it in. High screen. Four minutes gone by in this first quarter. Kawhi, nice pass inside to Zubats. The floater with a right hand. Oh, oh. my goodness. He couldn't do that. Teams combined three for now 16, and the Spurs just one for seven. Forbes back the other way. That one falls. You heard Don McClain mention it. Once in control at the top of his jump. Patterson. Kawhi with a little one-toe spin to the baseline, all of it. Yeah, ooh, he's scary on and off the court. This, Avica Zubac walking in, you can tell by the walk, right? And then I love this one, Lou Williams. He is a stone-cold killer. And I thought that was my favorite until this one. Professor Klump from the Nutty Professor. That is Patrick Patterson, you guys. Look at the body language. He nailed it, didn't he? Brian and Patterson comes away in a couple of nice plays in this first quarter that maybe don't go into the stat sheet. Kawhi's had a few of them that do. Try to oh. do another one right there, and he knocks you it. See Kawhi move and his patience and poise on every single possession. Range. You know, also even Steph Curry, even though Steph Curry shoots the ball from 20, 30, 40 feet out, uh, he understands that the mid-range game is so far all the way in this first quarter, but nothing really to write home about. 5 of 14 for the Clippers. And now 4 of 12 for San Antonio. And you see Rudy Gay, who's a longtime thorn on the side for the Clippers during his days in Memphis. This is Patty Mills for three. You don't give a tenured player that played with Mono Ginobili, Tony Parker, and if you look over on the bench, Mr. Tim Duncan himself. Oh, what a two-man game. Wide open opportunities for himself. Mills tries to bounce inside to Pirtle. The errant pass collected by White then goes to Pirtle, who floats it up and then they have in place the culture they've created in San Antonio. Quite remarkable. Clippers, I feel like, are on their way of doing that same thing as Montrez goes up and up. And, you know, Doc Rivers <laughs> was a part of that, playing in San Antonio, understanding the culture. And I really hope that Doc Rivers can be a 10-year coach for the Clippers. I believe he has the gift to be able to do it. Derek White knocks in the jumper. Here's Lou the other way. Floats it up and floats it in. And it the combination. Trails those last couple baskets. And now they ease away from, from Lou Williams. And he makes the nice shot. Ball movement finds Rudy. Mo Hartless backing down on Bellinelli. Finds his seam. Goes right around him and lays it in. Watched by Hartless. Over on the far side now to Derek White. Gives to Rudy Gay spots an entry on the baseline, goes up with the left hand and lays it in. Williams goes up on Lonnie Walker, wraparound pass to Montrez. Oh, a double clutcher. I'll tell you what, five out of four people struggle with math. I'm, it's I mean, okay. Come on, Steven. Montrez Harrell floats it up and floats it in with the right hand. Unselfish player in Kawhi Leonard. Two defenders would always try to stop him, and he finds Trez with ease. Great feet. Rumbles down the lane. Blocked from behind. Loose ball up for grabs, and LaMarcus Eldridge make it. Rudy Gay clears it away. Bouncing in to Jermichael Green and leaves it. We'll have to wait on that. Clippers lead by two. DeRozan after a bone-crushing screen by Walker, frees himself and then knocks in the jump shot. Why trying to change that here? Backing down on Forbes. A willing defender, but perhaps out muscle. Kawhi into the paint, knocks it in. He's down in the paint and uses his strength to finish right at that mid range position. Mid range jumper again for DeRozan. And now you're playing against one of the best players in the world, and you want to show that you can defend them. Shamit curling, catching, and connecting. Fourth win and remain undefeated in the process. Approach the midway point of the second quarter. Guard a jumper for LaMarcus Aldridge, and he knocks it in. Make good shots. First bucket for LaMarcus Aldridge. Shaman down the lane, finds a wide open. Patrick Beverly for three. It is going for Patrick Beverly in the clip. Look at that. Kawhi reaches in, knocks it free. DeRozan recovers it. And Forbes moves around his airborne defender, and Beverly and knocks it in. Kawhi has a brief conversation with the officiating crew and gets back to work. Clever footwork by Jamar DeRozan in half court. Drafted in 2011, he has two 
technicals. Lou Williams for three, turned 33. Everybody's fingerprints on the ball this trip down, including Murray's. Back the other way, behind the back pass to Rudy Gay, runs over Montrez. And there is Rudy Gay with a rebound. DeRozan swivels, fires, and connects. Looking to break the tie at 43. Right now, we want to see more patience. <laughs> Montrez playing well in front of friends and family. Kawhi Leonard, a SoCal kid, cannot convert. Offensive rebound for the Clippers. Beverly, the floater is good to the Clippers. And reaches up high for the rebound. And Kawhi hit a lot of great opportunities from a mid-range position to score. It's Seeds that it's not their possession. They got two seconds on the clock. White desperation oh, three from Wish to Swish. Oh, look at both positions like this. Five for 16, but all of his baskets have been at that mid range position. Beverly to Zoo ahead of the clock and lays it in. What a great play by Patrick Beverly. I love what Patrick Beverly did on that possession. He continued to attack the basket and waited for that.